I keep losing my keys. A friend of mine said, why don't you just make an extra set and leave them at work? Which is a great idea. So now I have to get a job. <laughs> Actually, I have a job and you're at it. So, uh, so would anyone mind holding on to these and just, uh, and coming to every one of my shows from now? Okay, I'll hold on. My other job, I'm an actor. Always getting cast as the ethnic thug. I was on the CBS show Unforgettable that nobody remembers. <laughs> Played an Albanian mobster. I was on the ABC show Forever that got canceled after one season. Played an ethnically ambiguous thug. I was on the blacklist. Uh, my character was security head, which was weird, because that's exactly what my girlfriend gives me before I leave town on a trip. <laughs> I said to my agent, you know, enough with the ethnic thug roles. Can you get me an audition for something a little more substantial? And here are the next six auditions she sent me out on. Thug, thug, Jew, thug, thug, Jew. Yeah, thug, thug, Jew. That's duck, duck, goose for the ethnic actor. When you go to an audition, you're supposed to wear something that suggests the character, but you're not supposed to dress as the character, which is not that easy, because I don't know what suggests pirate. <laughs> I know what suggests terrorist, my face. <laughs> the first thing you do when you get to the audition is you, you, you look in the camera and you say your name, your height, and the role you're auditioning for. And I'm never sure if I should do that you know, as me, like uh, Ethan Hershenfeld, six foot three, Mujahideen rebel. <laughs> Or should I do it more as the character? <laughs> Ethan Harshenfeld. <laughs> One meter, 93 centimeters. <laughs> Mujahideen rebel. There's this Chevy Malibu commercial. I don't know if you've seen it, but right at the beginning it says, real people, not actors. I find that insulting. <laughs> I'd like to do a commercial, but uh, apparently no company wants this as the face of their product. <laughs> Bring your kid to Six Flags. <laughs> for a great adventure. <laughs> I'll be waiting. <laughs> I guess they're right. <laughs> My first TV role, I played an orderly in a hospital basement morgue <laughs> in a dream sequence. <laughs> within a flashback, <laughs> covered in smoke, on a soap that got canceled. <laughs> they say, there are no small roles. They haven't seen my work. <laughs> my first movie role back in the 90s, I played Alejandro, the Colombian cocaine kingpin. I still remember my lines. My line. <laughs> My word. <laughs> I'm 
Gringo. <laughs> that was the whole thing. <laughs> I got to play Pinky Rabinowitz, a Jewish mobster on the show Boardwalk Empire, and what I learned on that job... What I learned on that job is that for a mobster, Sicilian is a much more intimidating accent than Yiddish. <laughs> I'll show you. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to put an end to this. And I'm going to have to put an end to you. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to put an end to this. I have to put an end to you. I got to put an end to them. I got to put an end to who knows whom I'll have to put an end to. I have to put it. If it was up to me, I would not put an end, but it's a job. I have a boss. He says, put an end. I put an end. What am I going to not put an end? No, I put an end. I got to put food on the table. It's a job. And I, uh, and you should have turned back there. You probably should have turned. And it's, it's, uh, it's not an intimidating accent. It's, uh, it's a sexy accent, yes, we can agree, which is why they call Yiddish the language of love. <laughs>